Hey what is up guys, welcome back to another Minecraft Java video. Today we're going to take a look at the best settings to use for Minecraft Java Edition. I am on the latest version of Minecraft, this is version 1.19, this is Minecraft Java Edition version 1.19 and we're going to take a look at the best settings which are going to give us the best FPS performance boost inside our Minecraft game and these settings should also work for the upcoming releases such as version 1.19.1 and possibly 1.19.2 as well if that ever comes out. Let's take a look at the best settings today on version 1.19. As you guys can see, I am running Minecraft version 1.19 and this is the vanilla game. We're going to use the default settings in the game first of all. And we're going to see what kind of FPS we are getting. As you guys can see in the top left corner there on my screen, I do have an external FPS counter enabled, which is basically going to tell me what kind of FPS I am getting inside my game. So let's go ahead and take a look at the best performance FPS boosting settings for Minecraft Java Edition on version 1.19. If you guys are running a low-end system, then hopefully these settings should be of some benefit for you. Do also note that my system is not low-end, so the FPS which you guys are going to see today is not going to be the same as what you would expect on a low-end system. However, these settings would benefit you. Alright, so as you guys can see, currently I am in a new world which I created. I am using the default settings, and as you can see in Minecraft Java Edition version 1.19, on the default settings I am getting, on average, 360 FPS. If I quickly go into my options over here, click on video settings, these are the default settings, which is what the game gave me when I first installed the Minecraft Java version 1.19 latest update. So we are going to take a look at some of these settings and how to configure them to try and give us even more of an FPS performance boost inside our Minecraft Java game. Alright, so the first thing which I would recommend that you guys do is go into your options and take a look at the FOV. Now, one interesting thing is that the higher the FOV, the lower FPS we are going to see. So, for example, if I actually crank this up all the way to Quake Pro, and then if I go back inside my game, you guys can see on the top left there my FPS has dropped. So previously I was getting 360 on average, but now I am getting close to 280 FPS. So the higher the FOV, the lower your FPS. So let's go back into options. Now if we actually go ahead and lower the FOV, we are going to see a much better performance upgrade inside our Minecraft game. Now anything lower than 70 might not be playable for some people, but I have actually found that if we actually take this to 60, then the game is actually playable and we are able to see a much higher FPS boost inside our Minecraft game compared to the default. So as you guys can see, the default is actually 70, but we're going to change this to 60. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the FPS gain, which we are getting. So as you guys can see automatically right now, I have gotten close to 400 FPS. Previously, I was getting 360, but now I am getting close to 400 FPS just by moving the FOV slider. So if you guys are seeing low FPS inside your game, this is a option which you guys can take. Anything lower than 60 may not be playable for you guys. So just go ahead and play around with the settings. This is an optional setting. You guys don't have to do this, but I have found it does actually give us a nice FPS boost in our game as well. We're now going to move on to the video settings, which is where we are going to be configuring quite a few of these settings to hopefully give us even more FPS inside our game. The first setting to look at is actually biome blend. Now, this is to do with when you are crossing into a different biome and how it blends the different colors of the biome. So we are actually going to turn this down. Now, if you guys are running a low end system, I would recommend changing this to the fastest setting, as you guys can see. If you guys are getting more than 60 FPS, then obviously, by all means, do go ahead and change that to higher settings. But on a low end system, go ahead and change that to the off setting, which is the fastest setting for the biome blend. The next setting we're going to look at is the graphics. Now, again, this is also going to have an impact on your performance. As you guys can see by default, it is set to fancy. So if you guys are on a low end machine, I would recommend you actually change this to fast, which is basically going to disable some of the other settings. For example, transparency effects on blocks and leaves, because leaves can also have an impact on your performance. So go ahead and change that to fast. The next setting we're going to look at is actually an important setting and this is the render distance. By default this is set to 12 and this is one of the major performance impacts in our game. So the higher the render distance the lower the FPS. Now by default the game sets it at 12. 
on a low end machine, your system may not be able to handle 12. So I would actually recommend to take this down. Now, some people like to play on eight and some people also like to play on six. However, if you guys are on a really low end system, I would recommend you change that to five and the game is still playable and you should be able to get a much higher FPS in your game. Same thing for simulation distance as well. We are gonna change that all the way down to five chunks. For the chunk builder option, we're gonna leave down the default, which is the threaded option. We are then gonna move on to smooth lighting. Now, the performance impact for smooth lighting is on the lower side, so this is another optional setting which you can change. For the purpose of this video, I'm gonna switch that to off and see how that impacts our FPS. Again, this is an optional setting. You don't have to change this. You can actually leave this on max. Let's go ahead and change that to off. By default, Minecraft sets your max frame rate to 120 FPS, but we do actually wanna see if we are able to get higher FPS. So take the slider and move it all the way across to unlimited. And now make sure that your V-Sync is turned off. By default, your V-Sync might be turned on. So do make sure that your V-Sync is turned off and your max frame rate is set to unlimited. Some of you have been asking about the view bobbing settings and if you guys see it is over here it is underneath the max frame rate setting over here so if you guys want to turn view bobbing on or off this is where the setting for that option is it's underneath the max frame rate setting the GUI scale we can actually go ahead and leave that as auto but for those of you who like to play with bigger fonts, you can change that to four. And for those of you who like to play on smaller fonts, you can change it to two or three. I'm gonna leave mine on four, which is what you have been seeing. The attack indicator, again, we can leave this option as it is and we can leave it on the crosshair setting over here. Let's move on to the brightness. Now, for those of you who have low brightness, you can obviously go ahead and change that to bright. It should not make much of a difference on your gameplay performance. So go ahead and change that to bright if you guys wanna do that. Another performance impact, which does actually impact our game is clouds. Now by default, the game sets this to fancy. The game actually looks nice with fancy clouds. However, again, if you guys are on a low end system on version 1.19, I would recommend to lower this to something like fast or even switch it off. So I would actually switch the clouds off and have a look at your FPS. Usually in my game, I do like to switch the clouds to off. So you guys can obviously do that. Again, if you guys do want clouds, then you can actually set that to fast. But for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna set the clouds to off. The game has loaded me into the full screen mode, but for some of you, especially those of you who are running internal graphics cards, your full screen mode might give you lower FPS. So you can actually go ahead and change to a windowed mode by switching the setting to off over here. You can also press the F11 key on your keyboard, which will basically toggle between full screen and windowed mode as well. So you can use this setting or use the F11 key on your keyboard. The particles have a medium to low performance impact on your game. So you can actually leave that to all if you guys like to see lots of different particles. However, for the purpose of this video, we are gonna change this to the minimal setting. Bitmap levels can also have a high performance impact. And if you guys were to change this to off, the game would not look that nice. So I would actually recommend setting this to mip map level one which actually makes the game look semi-decent and it is playable and at the same time it should see a much higher fps performance boost in your minecraft or java game on version 1.19 entity shadows this is optional so if you guys are seeing different entities and you do see different rounded shadows underneath them then you can obviously go ahead and turn this off this is optional you don't have to do this but for the purpose of this video i'm going to switch this option to off we're then going to move on to the distortion effects and as you guys can see this is set to 100% now you guys can lower this to 50% if you guys want to do that this is mainly to do with the distortion effect that the game gives us for example if you guys are entering a nether portal then it does actually have a distortion on your screen some of you might want to actually turn this off completely or some of you might want to change this to 50% let's go ahead and switch this to off it should not actually have that much of an impact on your fps when you guys are playing minecraft java edition version 1.19 the entity distance is set to 100% by default you can obviously go ahead and lower this. So let's go ahead and change that to 50%. So the entity distance is gonna be half of what we are seeing. And hopefully that should give us 
a slight performance boost as well. For the FOV effects, we are going to leave that at 100% because when you are running, the FOV does change and make the game seem like you are running much faster. So let's leave the FOV effects on 100%. And finally, we are going to set the autosave indicator to off because we don't actually want to have anything pop up on our screen. So as you guys can see, the video settings have been changed. If you guys are on a low end system, you can go ahead and copy these settings and see if you guys are getting a higher FPS boost inside your Minecraft game on version 1.19 or even 1.19.1 or 1.19. 19.2. Let's click on done. Some more optional settings which I like to use are in the accessibility settings over here. So click on accessibility settings and as you guys can see there are a few options which we can actually go ahead and change over here. One of them being the hide lightning flashes. As you guys can see it says prevents lightning bolts from making the sky flash. So we are actually going to turn this on which is basically going to hide the lightning flashes inside your game so anything that is changing might have an impact on your FPS performance even if it is a minimal effect then we are going to change that to on over here. So hide lightning flashes we are going to change that to on. A new slider which was introduced in version 1.19 is this one over here which is called darkness pulsing and at the moment it is set to 100% you can go ahead and play around with this interestingly if you switch the slider to the middle it actually changes to 25% so let's go ahead and leave that on 25% for now and see how we get on with that setting and finally one setting which I do like to always change is the text background opacity which is currently set to 50% but let's go ahead and change that to a 0% okay let's click on done and now we can actually go back inside our game I'm going to click on done now and then go and click on back to game and as you guys can see my FPS has now jumped all the way to 1000 I was getting close to 360 FPS on default on the default Minecraft settings and thanks to changing all of those different settings my FPS has now jumped to 1000 FPS. If I am moving around in the world you can see that the graphics are acceptable and the view distance is not that bad. As you guys can see we are obviously playing on render distance 5. Some of you might not like this and you can actually go ahead and increase that if you want but for a very low end machine this render distance would be of some benefit to you in your Minecraft Java game on version 1.19. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video and hopefully these settings are going to give you a nice FPS performance boost in your Minecraft Java game on version 1.19 and the upcoming versions 1.19.1 and possibly 1.19.2. If you guys have any comments or queries about how to increase and how to boost your FPS performance in your Minecraft Java game on version 1.19 then do leave them in the comment section below I will do my best to try and help you guys out please also do subscribe to this channel to help support it help it grow and I'll see you guys next time thank you for watching